Hello and welcome to Cheapskate. My name is Cameron and this is my first video in my entry for the Great Guitar Build-Off 2022 Freestyle Division. Why is it Freestyle Division when my previous three builds have all been solid body electrics? Well this one's going to be an acoustic. Not just any acoustic, it's going to be a, a narrow neck nylon string acoustic with a zero fret and transducers so we can plug it in. That's the plan anyway. Will it work? Don't know. But this is the mock-up cardboard. I don't do a lot of planning, but I try and make something out of cardboard before I start. I just want to see if the shape was going to work. This shape uh, is, all of my guitars have this body shape. I call it the Skeg's body shape on account of it having lots of Skeg's and there's a purpose for them. And I'll show you the purpose in a second. But uh, that's the basic shape that we're going to be using. Alright, so this is my latest build, or my last build. The videos for this are actually not finished. So this is a spoiler for anybody who's watching this series. It's a three-part series, and part two's up, but part three isn't up yet. Um, so it was called Chocolate Ripple Cake because it was a through neck. And spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the videos, uh, the neck breaks and I have to replace it. So that's why it kind of looks like that. This is the Skeg's body shape. Why, what's it for? It's for players who play sitting down a lot. My computer's just there and I sit there. I play some stuff, I record it into my computer through my audio interface. I then jump on my electronic drum kit, which is just there. I put some beats in, I then go back. I play the second guitar part, like the, the, the lead bit or the highlights. Then I get my microphone down and I put the vocals in and all the time I'm taking the guitar off standing over there putting it. Sometimes I don't even use the strap but I'm just sitting there and, and I'm playing. Well this guitar, you can take it off and put it on the ground and it won't fall over. <laughs> it doesn't have a rounded bottom like most guitars so you can just lean it up against something and it won't fall over. It won't slide. Even if you push it, give it a bit of a push, it'll just go and it'll come back. Uh, that's because of that. That's one advantage of it. The other thing is that when you're sitting down playing, this, this skeg here, this big sort of hook, stops it sliding off your leg. So you can play, if you want to make a bass guitar with body shape, you can play double bass, or double bass position. I made it mainly for a classical position because I have uh, ligaments missing out of my thumb and broken ligaments in these two joints. So, uh, Sometimes it gets painful that I play in the same position for a long time, so I like to change positions. So this is a classical position. Now I noted that one of the things classical guitarists find very important is they don't have to use any hand tension to hold the neck. That's really important. They want the hand to be free. So I built this in a way that you can just hold it here. And not only is there no hand tension, there's no leg tension. My legs are completely relaxed and the guitar is completely balanced. The body's quite heavy, which is one of the things that helps me achieve this. But yeah, you can just play away. If you want a, not so much of a tilt, you can just open your legs a little bit. Once again, no tension, because the guitar's not sliding off my leg. And I can play it like this. You can move it to here, it's got another notch here, which I noticed some other manufacturers have notches there as well, which you can just fit on your left leg like that and play like this. So you can do that way too. Or you can do the, old, the traditional ones here, this leg, or this leg, and just play it sort of the traditional way. But on a normal guitar that has a rounded bottom, like my Squire Strat there has a rounded bottom, my, all my acoustics have rounded bottoms. When you do this, you have to have leg tension, because otherwise it slides off your right leg, it just slides down. So, after even like two songs, my legs just start to shake, and uh, they get sore. So, this just alleviates all those sort of issues. And of course, you can still play the thing standing up, not a problem. It doesn't sort of have neck dive. It's fine. So that's the idea of the shape. So uh, hopefully you'll join me on this journey a little bit. Something I think some of you, anyone who's interested in acoustic guitars or making acoustic, or even for electrics, this could be interesting for some people. In fact, I think Ben will find this very interesting. I will be steam bending the sides, but I won't be steam bending them like, you know, with the normal hot iron, wet timber and bend it. I'm making a steam box and I'm going to put the whole sides into the box, pull it out and bend the whole thing in about 15 seconds. That's the plan. I hate doing things the same way as everyone else. 
So I think you'll find that really interesting. I've actually done some tests, test bending of different timbers to see what timber I'm going to use and all that. And what I can say is it's going to work, uh, but you have to have the right timber. So anyway, I'm sure you're going to enjoy that part of the process too. And um, see you soon, hopefully. Thank you for watching the video and feel free to subscribe to Cheapskate on YouTube if you want to see more. I'm well aware that many of you will be builders yourselves and I'm really happy to interact with you all on the forums and on here. And if you have any questions or uh, want to know anything about the build or have any ideas or suggestions, feel free to interact because I'd, I'd really like to interact with you all. And uh, all the best to all of those who are competing. I hope you have a great time and uh, I'm certainly enjoying watching everybody else's builds.